Let's go check it out. So today you guys get a preview that barely a few other people get to see, and that's the Stealth Grow R&D room where we test out many lights with different spectrums, and we'll continue to do so for many, many years to finally fine-tune LEDs until they're perfected to 150%. Now, let's see how the LED reads compared to a 1,000 watt HPS in that watts per meter square, and then make the lumen value on that. This is a 1,000 watt Hortolux HPS, and we're going to show you today how this meter reads with an HPS. We're about two feet away from our HPS, and we read about 15 watts per meter square. Let's go a foot away from our HPS, which we know not too many people get a chance to do because it's going to burn their plants. And we get 58 watts per meter square. Let's go even closer to that. Six inches. We're going to get 85. We're about six inches away from the light right now. That's very, very, very rare to see somebody get to. Now, let's go under the stealth grow light. The stealth grow light, at about two feet away, will put out 40 watts per meter square, 43. If we went one foot away from our LED, we're getting 160, 170, 180, 190. So as you can see, the stealth grow light puts out twice as much intensity as even the sun puts out in that useful spectrum. And people say the intensity all diminishes after distance. Well, let's check that out as well. Let's put the meter down here at the plant level. And we're about four feet away from the LED. Let's take a look. We see 17 watts per meter square all the way down the bottom, four feet away. Let's take a look at that HPS one more time. That HPS on a plant level only puts out 6.5, 7.5 lumens per... Now, that's only seven watts per meter square. Let's go calculate all that into lumens and the LED. When comparing the SG602 to a 1000 watt HPS on the spectrum chart, we have here a chart that's not like any other company's chart. Most companies that give you the spectrum color chart and draw a line showing you that they concentrate on the blues and reds. They don't show you uh, specific values that are actually what is the value of the light. So, that being said, these are results that we sent out to government laboratories where they've tested a 1000 watt HPS light and our SG602 and brought it back to us and showed us the results and how we compare it. Now we overlay that with the color spectrum chart and the chlorophyll A and B areas of how plants react. So from the beginning we could see that the SG602 has enough blues in there to create more vegetation growth than a thousand watt. We start from the range of 420 all the way up to 480 where the HPS is reading only about 1.0 relative absorption we're reading 4. So, that being said, we're about four times more intense in that blue spectrum than even a 1,000 watt HPS, which is very, very reasonable considering an HPS is warm. It barely has any of that spectrum in there. Again, because it's a full spectrum light, it gives you a little bit of everything. Now, where the HPS really tends to lose all of that energy is with that yellow light. We know that the plants don't use that. There's no absorption there by the plants, barely anything. But because it is a warm color and does produce a little bit, we have the range from an HPS from 600 all the way up to the 700 level, which we know is what we need. So that is why an HPS has worked for those times, but we can make it much more efficient. An SG602, as you see, carries light levels from 540 nanometers all the way down to 700. So it gives you that full spectrum light that you're looking for, and we concentrate it where that needed spectrum is <clears throat> excuse me, between 600 to 700 nanometers. So if you look closely, you can see that purple line going up here. That is the SG602. And the little blue shades here in the green shade is the chlorophyll A and B. So you can see how the SG602 completely overlays 
the entire needed area. And the 1000 watt HPS being this dark blue line here only gets a little bit of that stuff. And then it peaks over here on its yellow bands. So when comparing the SG602 and 1000 watt HPS, you can see just how different it really is. Remember, these are real results from real laboratories. If any of you have any questions regarding this chart, you can see it on our website at www.stealthgrow.com. And if you have any more questions about the chart or anything that I've discussed here today, please feel free to email me directly at support at stealthgrow.com. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm Rami Vardy from Stealthgrow. Nice talking to you. See you later.